guys, I'm Karen Cabot and this is HGTV Handmade. So if you're heading back to school this year and you don't have the resources to buy all of the fun, fancy, colorful school supplies of your dreams, I totally get you. I've been there. So today I have five ideas of school supplies that you can spray paint to totally make them your own. All right, let's get started. First up are the number one classic school supplies, pencils. Begin by taping off the eraser with painter's tape. Then take the pencils outside and spray paint one side one color. Once that's dry, flip them over and spray paint the other side a different color. Once they've dried completely, you can remove the tape and now you've got these fun two color gradient pencils. Go ahead and sharpen them and even your pencil shavings are cute now. I love how these came out and I'm sure everyone's gonna be like, why didn't we spray paint our pencils? That's such a good idea. This next one is also really easy. We're just going to make fun gradient thumbtacks. Just start with plain metal thumbtacks and push them into a piece of foam core. Then spray paint them and I think it's fun to overlap the spray paint colors so you end up with gradients on some of the thumbtacks. Once that's completely dry, pull them out of the foam core and now you can hang up reminders and photos and school notices in style. Next up, we're going to spray paint this tape dispenser. Just tape off the metal cutting edge with painter's tape. And then bring it outside and once again, give it a makeover with two colors of spray paint. This is so pretty and it was so easy to do, but everyone's gonna wanna know where you got your amazing school supplies. Now I've got two notebook hacks for you. First up, you can take a plain notebook and cover the edges of the paper with bright colors. Just cover the front and the back of the notebook with painter's tape. And then to paint it, I put a footstool under my drop cloth and sandwiched the notebook between two bricks so that the pages would be really pressed together. To be honest, I probably should have been a little further away from the notebook because you really wanna build up light coats of paint until you're happy with how the colors look. Once that's dry, bring it inside and remove the painter's tape. And then the pages might be stuck together, but you can just go through and separate them one by one. And now you've got this fun, colorful notebook to do your homework in all year long. And finally, this one was kind of an experiment, but we're going to spray paint a notebook cover with both chalkboard and dry erase paint. Begin by taping off the spiral binding and putting a plastic bag over the rest of the notebook to keep it clean. Then spray paint half of the notebook with dry erase paint, and then do the other half with chalkboard paint. Once that's dry, remove the tape, and now you can draw all over your notebook cover with dry erase markers and with chalk. Wipe it off with a damp paper towel, and you can doodle all over it or leave yourself little reminders. I think this is such a fun idea, and if you don't have both dry erase and chalkboard paint, you can definitely just do one or the other. So I hope you guys liked my DIY school supply spray painting ideas. If you want even more ideas, I showed you how to spray paint a textbook cover in my back to school video from last year, so I'll link that right down below. I would love to know in a comment if you are spray painting or customizing any of your school supplies this year. And if you make any of these ideas, make sure that you post a photo with the hashtag HGTV handmade so that I can see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.